A very welcome to you. We are here with 28th of June's College Blessing. How to become an elevated effect maker. That's what God is teaching us. And He is saying that two things are very important. One is divine intellect and one is divine vision. And that's what He wants us to do. He wants us to have a divine spiritual vision and He wants us to have a divine intellect. That means we see everything on a spiritual basis, not on a physical basis. So God here says, may you become an elevated effort maker and claim number one by using the blessing of having a divine intellect. That means we see pure things in everybody, purity in everybody. Even if people are trying to be jealous, even if people are trying to be greedy, we still see goodness in them and we stay correct on our course. That's it. Right is right, wrong is wrong. And spiritual vision. That means we look at everybody from a spiritual vision. Even though they have the defects in them, they have those satanic thoughts in them, satanic ways in them, but we still have a spiritual vision, we don't have any kind of ill feeling towards them, but we are going to solve the issues, we are going to solve our problems, we want to take the right path and be on the right path to the right karma, no matter what. So God says, a birth, every, at birth, every Brahmin child receives the blessing of a divine intellect and spiritual vision. That means as soon as we do the seven day course, we understand, okay, now we are supposed to see everything in a divine with the divine intellect, with the pure divine intellect. No, uh, we don't have any kind of revenge, we don't have any kind of remorse, we don't have any kind of sadness towards what has happened to us in the uh, previous birth. That means before we took this knowledge, a physical birth, but now we are in a spiritual life, so spiritual birth is different. And also we don't have any kind of ill feelings towards anyone. We look at everybody as a spiritual being with a little bit of defects which have come in us also and them also. This blessing is the foundation of Brahmin life. Each number is given on the basis of these two things. To you, the confluence aged effort makers. So the more we are spiritual, the more we get the marks. The more we have spiritual vision and spiritual intellect, the more we are given the marks. That means we ourselves become happier and peaceful and joyous automatically instead of whatever the world is doing around us. To the extent that you use these in your thoughts, words and actions, you accordingly claim a number in the front. That means we are more wise, more powerful, more relaxed whenever we are facing these issues and or any issue and we are using spiritual vision and we are using divine intellect to solve any issues. You accordingly claim a number in the front by using this, by using your spiritual vision and your attitude and actions automatically change. If you have a spiritual vision towards everybody, you don't look at the worst in people, you don't look at the bad in people, you understand that they are going through greed and jealousy and hatred and they have got all those negativities within them. Or they have insecurities, first of all, they have insecurities, that's why they are doing that. So automatically you have a spiritual vision, so your attitude and actions, they are calm and relaxed, right, automatically. By making the right decisions with your divine intellect, you yourself service you yourself, we ourselves, and service, relationships and connections become accurate and powerful. Everybody around us is happier and joyful and correct. And because we are on the righteous path, we have not taken any kind of revenge, we are not taking any kind of bad uh, methods to get things done. That is divine intellect and spiritual vision. You too can learn the spiritual art of Brahma Kumaris. I'm sure this.